What's up, you two? Happy Memorial Day weekend. It is Sunday night. It is 9.45 p.m. And I did not anticipate on making another video on the WannaCry ransomware. However, I got a comment that I thought, well, huh, I got to do it. And this was from Robert Stack. I thought Microsoft released the patch for Windows 7 months ago. How did the Windows 7 Pro with updates get infected? Now he's referring to the video that I did, which was my first video on the ransomware, titled, I believe, Global Cyber Attack Chaos Wanna Cry Ransomware. Something like that. It was like a week and a half ago. So with the updates alone, no virus protection, just the updates alone. Let's see what happens. Drum roll. Doesn't help. I knew it wasn't going to help. Um, apparently, the patch was only supposed to help computers on a network. I get that. What we have going here is two Windows 7 professional operating systems, both with no security, no updates, no antivirus, no nothing. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to do like a little recap here. And we're going to execute the WannaCry on this computer here, which is on the same network, once again, as this Windows machine over here. And we're going to see what happens here. So let's go ahead and execute the WannaCry. All right. Again, don't do this on a network you don't own. And make sure you know what you're doing. All right. So we executed the WannaCry virus on this computer. And as you can see, we're encrypted. Okay. Now this computer over here, this Windows 7 computer, is not infected. We can still open our files. We're still good to go. All right. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and enable file sharing on this computer, and we're going to do the same exact thing we did over here and see what happens. All right. So I'll be right back. All right. In this scenario, what we got going on is a Windows 7 machine here that we're going to infect, and then we have a Windows. 7 machine over here with file sharing enabled and we're going to watch the WannaCry ransomware travel over to this computer and infect it and we're going to do this in real time so here we go all right here we go this is our attack computer we're going to go ahead and run the ransomware and watch it on the network it's connected to with the vulnerable windows 7 machine all right here we go all right, let's watch it go into action. Again, I'm doing this on a controlled network, so. And we're encrypted. All right, as you can see here, we have an encrypted Windows 7 machine, encrypted via the local network this computer is a part of, and all the files are encrypted. Yeah, it traveled. The worm made its move. So let's go ahead and do the same thing and let's deploy the Microsoft updates and see if this happens. Yes, we know we can cut off a couple ports here and there to, you know, make this not happen, but let's go ahead and try the Windows updates and see if that actually diverts the ransomware. All right, let's go ahead and start our Windows updates here on this Windows 7 professional build and get it ready to battle in the ring with the wanna cry ransomware and uh, uh once again happy memorial day everybody so let's uh go ahead and do these updates i'm gonna probably jump through some of these scenes here so let's get this ready let's get this puppy on the road we have our windows 7 machine here with all of our windows updates installed all of our security updates and patches installed on this computer and here we have our attacker computer with the wanna cry ransomware and as you can see on this computer we have all of the necessary updates installed as you can see so what we are going to do is we're going to go ahead and run the attack on this victim computer so let's go ahead and run the attack And as you can see, it has completely attacked our computer here. And what do we have here?
Looks like we're good to go.